good everybody welcome back to another my damn toys video today we have another two in one elite figure review on the best of attitude era stone cold steve austin and chris jericho <laughs> Alright guys, so I've been waiting on these two forever, it seems like. You know, they made the announcement that these were going to come out a while back. And they're finally here. I am loving the packaging. I'm loving the look of the figures. You know, I'm a big Chris Jericho and Stone Cold Steve Austin collector. I have multiple, multiple figures of each, which we will see later in this video when we do some comparisons. But uh, two of my favorite wrestlers of all time easily. We got the night after WrestleMania 14 at Monday Night Raw 1998. This is freaking beautiful. You know, this is, uh, the belt's a little bit inaccurate, but we'll get into that. And this right here is a Chris Jericho from 1999, late 1999. You know, he had just made his debut in WWE on August 9th. And then uh, a few weeks later, he would debut the Raw's Jericho t-shirt. This is obviously not his actual debut. They actually made an insurance greats figure about that. But we're going to go ahead and get into this packaging, guys. You see it says Best of Attitude Era up here. You have like a brick wall pattern with like spray painted WWE logo behind their names there. On the side, uh, you see Stone Cold right here with a picture of him. Best of Attitude Era. Chris Jericho etched into the side of the box right there. On the back here, we have two little bios. If you'd like to read that, you can go ahead and pause it now. You got a picture of Stone Cold here, Chris Jericho here. And if we flip it around, you'll see Stone Cold etched into the side there like it's scratched in. And a picture of Chris Jericho with it spray painted like it is for Austin on the other side. But now that we've got the boxes squared away, guys, let's go ahead and pop these hoes right out of the box. So here are the figures out of their packaging, guys, looking freaking nice AF. I am very freaking excited to have these things. Again, I'm a huge Stone Cold and Chris Jericho fan. I always love their figures, and I cannot wait to get into the comparison, see what they look like next to all the other figures. But you see, they both come with microphones, and they both come with t-shirts, and we're going to definitely get into their accessories, but I'm so freaking hyped to have this Chris Jericho in this attire. You know, I don't have any customs or anything of this attire, so that's great. I have a few jeans Stone Colds, but not with the Stone Cold Universe t-shirt you know this is a big moment in WWF history so I'm glad to uh, finally get it in Mattel elite figure form but uh, let's go ahead and get into these guys I guess we'll cover Stone Cold Steve Austin's accessories and then his figure and then we'll get into Chris's accessories and his figure all right guys so getting into Austin's accessories right here you do get a slew of stuff right here a lot of stuff we've seen before we've seen this necklace before with multiple figures you know we've seen it with Stone Cold the Hall of Fame we've seen it with Big Cass we've seen it with Macho Man I believe even so uh, we've definitely had our share of these gold plastic chains. I wish they would give us metal chains. You can actually get some on eBay. So I definitely recommend you going to eBay and finding some. They look really good on the figure. Maybe I can show you what an example of that looks like later in the video. You also get a WWE scratch logo. Obviously, it was a WWF scratch logo, and the mics were a little bit different, but uh, due to copyright and stuff, they cannot do that. So they gave us the scratch WWE logo. We've seen this multiple times. Uh, right here, you get the hat that comes with the All-Stars uh Austin with the uh, CM Punk. I believe we've seen this before, um, not only in that pack, but in another one. And actually, he didn't even wear this hat on the night that this figure is supposed to be representing. He wore this the following week with like a suit and tie. You know, uh, Vince McMahon was presenting like a new look of Austin. And this is the hat he wore when he uh, wore the suit during that moment, which was the week after this figure. So, uh, yeah, that's a little interesting note. Here's the shirt he was wearing. I love this shirt a lot. The Stone Cold University t-shirt. I love that logo. On the back, it's supposed to say class of 316, you know, like uh, like a college graduating class uh, university there. So that's what that's supposed to be. I wish they could put decals on the back, but, you know, for Velcro and all that sake. And here is the WWF Big Eagle Championship right here. And this actually has some history to it. It's kind of crazy that they even gave us this belt, but I guess to replicate the moment, uh, what's inaccurate about this, guys, is that this logo is supposed to be the WWF Block logo, but I guess they can't do it. I, I wish they would have given us the WWE Block logo at least. It's supposed to be bl uh, blue back here with the WWF Block logo. They obviously can't give us the WWF logo, so they gave us the Scratch WWE logo. It, they could have went a step further and gave us that Block logo. I know they've done it before on side plates and stuff, and it would have made this championship a lot more uh, accurate. But maybe somebody can get a decal and slap over that or something. I know Comic Vid Collector or somebody will definitely do that. But this belt's interesting because he won this championship and then he dropped it to Kane. And Kane only held it for 24 hours. And after he, uh, you know, won the championship back, after Stone Cold won it back, he changed to the Smoking Skull Championship without anybody. 
everybody knowing, and Vince was very pissed off. And, you know, uh, the fans loved it, though, so they decided to keep it for a little while. And then, finally, he switched it to the black strap Big Eagle, which is right here, and you can do a little comparison right here. I think it would have been awesome to keep the blue strap for a while. They just didn't. I wish they would have, though. I, You know, this is iconic with the black strap, but I think the blue strap with the block logo was pretty sick look, and had they not switched to the scratch logo, they probably would have kept it. So uh, it's just an interesting thing to see. But now we've covered these accessories, guys. Let's get into the figure itself. So getting into Stone Cold's figure itself, guys, here's the head scan that we have seen multiple times before. They did give him the shiny eyes and stuff. What I don't like about this head scan, I love the likeness to it, but I wish that they would get his head shape right. Like, if they would, like, make his head not as wide, it would really capture Stone Cold way more. That's why the smiling head scan of Stone Cold looks way better, in my opinion. Going down, you know, we've seen multiple Gene, WWE, or Stone Cold Steve Austin figures before, so uh, this is nothing new. It's got the light jeans, though, which is accurate. You know, in the late 90s, early 2000s, uh, the light jean look was so popular, and it just definitely captures the 90s and the attitude there with these light jeans. I love this look better. I don't like the dark jeans look. You know, we've seen this so many times before. Blank arms there. I'll give you a shot of what he looks like without the t-shirt real quick and uh, with the necklace on there, of course. And it is his standard Stone Cold Steve Austin Elite body that we have seen multiple times before. Uh, nothing special to this figure, but you do get some really cool accessories with it. So, uh, yeah. Alright guys, so let's go ahead and get into some Stone Cold Steve Austin comparisons. And that is finally all the Stone Colds in my collection. So you guys can see we have seen multiple Gene Austins before. Uh, this one back here is the Defining Moments, and it does not have the camo jacket on it, but, uh, you know, you can see there it came with the hat as well, but it came with the camo hat that you see over here on this Austin. And again, I'm just a huge Stone Cold fan. I love Stone Cold so much. Uh, probably my unbiased greatest of all time, just... Every time he comes out, you see why, guys. He's just the epitome. He is literally what kept wrestling alive in the late 90s. He defeated WCW by himself. You know, he kept WWF alive. And uh, I am just so freaking happy to add this Stone Cold to my collection. So now that we've done that, guys, let's get into Chris Jericho's accessories. So getting into Jericho's accessories, guys, we got the same microphone that we got with Stone Cold. Again, scratch WWE logo on the regular microphone. But here is the uh, more interesting accessory. You got the Raw is Jericho t-shirt right there. I do not like the material that Mattel gives us with these t-shirts. I would like it to be, you know, better quality, maybe thicker. But uh, I'm not complaining. I love this t-shirt so much. It's very uh, nostalgic for me. And I may cut the sleeves off. I think it'll look better. I remember him wearing sleeveless shirts more often than regular t-shirts during that era so I may be cutting the sleeves off of this I'm not sure though yet but this is a fantastic t-shirt and I'll probably pick up more you know for different attire Jerichos and stuff like that but now that we've covered his accessories guys let's get into the figure itself so getting into the figure itself, guys, we got this uh, debut Chris Jericho head scan, which is kind of dumb. You know, he didn't even have this on there during his debut, but uh, this is pretty accurate for the time. I love these trunks a lot. We got the same Chris Jericho torso and arms from that era. This is before he had any tattoos, so there's no fuzzy tat, you know. I may do a head swap with this thing. I have a cooler, better, like, uh, Jax R3 head scan I may swap on there to uh, give him a different look. But uh, I love these trunks. You got the barbed wire in silver and black going around the red tights. And I am going to be doing this. I'm going to be switching the knee pads with some black open knee pads. I don't think he ever wore knee pads like this with the design on there. I could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure he wore open black knee pads with this attire. And here's my favorite part, the Jericho kick pads. One of my favorite things. So nostalgic, so beautiful. Love Chris Jericho so much. He was my favorite first, my first favorite wrestler when I got into it. And he's still one of my favorites of all time. And this is just beautiful, guys. I love Chris Jericho so much, and this figure captures him beautifully. But now let's go ahead and, uh, yeah. So now we can get into some Chris Jericho Elite comparisons. So this is the new Chris Jericho up to all of my long tights Chris Jerichos. Here he is now up next to the entrance greats Chris Jericho on a Daniel Bryan body. I need to update that to a Chris Jericho Elite. And here he is next to the rest of my Chris Jerichos. And I'm pretty sure that about does it for all my Chris Jericho Elites. I do have like a repeat of the Elite Lost Legends somewhere that I gotta find to make into a custom. But I'm also missing the Elite 53 Chris Jericho and I have a ton more customs that I want to get done. But that pretty much does it for the comparisons of the Chris Jerichos. But yeah guys, that about does it for this 2-in-1 Elite figure review on the Best of Attitude Era Stone Cold and Chris Jericho figures. I definitely do recommend both of these things. If you're a big fan of either one of these guys, you definitely need to pick them up. If you don't have 
have a figure of either one of these guys, definitely go on Amazon or Ringside and pick these things up, guys. They're great figures, and I would definitely recommend them again. Thank you guys so much for watching the review. Leave a like if you enjoyed the review or you enjoyed the video itself. Comment down below what you think of both of these superstars and both of these figures. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE and WWE figure-related videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.